Um, first of all, rural life is really nice until the train decides not to stop at your town for some reason. Um, so, um, my name is Melody. I work as a digital historian at Loughborough University, um, which means basically I'm a normal historian that likes computers, likes programming, and uses what we like to call big data, but I guess we'd say medium-ish size data. Um, what I'm really interested in now, though, is the idea of where we put all that stuff that we work with outside of the articles that we write. So in history, as with most of the humanities, we like to write our conclusions. We like to write nice, lovely, flowy narratives that explain how the world is or how a piece of art is. And we don't necessarily include methodology. We don't necessarily include all the evidence we've looked at, just the most representative evidence that we looked at. And in traditional history, we kind of fooled ourselves into thinking that we can compensate for this. We know who the author is. We know, generally speaking, what they've read. We can kind of reverse engineer how they came to their conclusion. With digital history or with these large data sets, you really can't do that. Because even if you could get the same data set they had, you have no real idea of how they cleaned it, how they filtered it, because these things don't tend to come through in historiographical writing. So what I really want to work on is a way of linking together historical data sets, historical evidence sets, even if they're not self-compiled data sets, um, with historiographical art article writing and methodological writing that often takes the forms of blogs, and link this in a way so that all historians can more effectively show how the sort of web of serendipitous connections they've made, based on everything they've read in life, have somehow led to their conclusions. So if you're at all interested in linked data and linking conclusions and narrative writing to the data that's being used to underpin it, or if you're at all interested in how to get people who don't consider themselves big data to work with data, please do talk to me. Thank you.